All right, fighthype.com, Sean Patel here with the former WBA lightweight champion of the world, trying to become the WBA super lightweight champion of the world, May 13th here in Vegas against Ismael Barroso from Venezuela, big puncher. Roly, man, but first it was supposed to be Alberto Puello. Uh, he tests positive for a substance that pulls him out of the fight. He loses his belt, says uh, he had to take it for fertility reasons, you know, to try and have his baby. And what, what's your thoughts first off on this not being against Puello? But I'm going to just tell you like this, man. It's disappointing, man, because I get ready for Puello, you know, and I, I want to make a statement against him. But, I mean, motherfucker want to go cheat, want to go do dirty. Like, it's sad it's, and it's disrespectful to the damn sport. It's like, it's just sad, bro, because like, at the end of it, it's... It's our, you know, it's our health as fighters that you're that you're fucking with. You know, it's it's evil. The boxing is a dangerous sport. I don't give a fuck what it was. The boxing is a dangerous sport. You know, so you you're fucking with with, with, with our health. On top of that, right? Even with him, right? Like, how, how you pass one drug test, and your wife's in the DR or whatever, right? You pass one drug test and then you don't pass the other one. Like, bro, what the hell are you taking the pills for if you you ain't doing shit? You know. So is that, brother? I, I don't, I don't care, bro. Like, there's reasons why he was doing it. it, it that wasn't uh, whatever he says it was, you know. Mm. Are you at all surprised? Because Puello seems like you know a humble, a humble guy from the Dominican Republic, and then, and then this comes out. Were you surprised at all? There's no such thing as humble in this sport. Bro. Okay. I just want I ran this sport's cutthroat. Mm. So much dirty shit in this sport. It's sad. Do you feel like, I mean, I, you know, not to be crazy, but do you feel like you would have won anyways? And do you feel like you fought a fighter who may have been on something before in your career already? Yeah, I, I feel like I fought a few people that have been on some stuff. But, you know, that was before drug testing was really, you know, prominent in my career, you know? But, yeah, I was going to beat him anyways, you know? I mean, but it, it's still, it's sad, you know? It, it's still sad, you know? So, I mean, I mean, obviously speaking, but why is that something you would never do? Is it just the principle of it all? I mean, a lot of, you know, just break down why a fighter, I mean, it's pretty yeah. obvious, but. I mean, yeah. I already have, I'm blessed with amazing genetics. I, like, I punch harder than everybody else without that shit. Um, I'm already agile. Uh, I, I tend to, you know, I tend to lose weight easy, you know? I, you know, I have I have just a great I just have a great uh gene great genetics for boxing. You know, I don't need it. Because I, I just wonder if you know ever professional athletes they get told by these strength coaches that are around this you know their sport. Hey, everyone's on it. You gotta be on it for a level playing field. Like yeah, I, I, I mean, and then oh, everybody's drunk. You should go drink. Oh, everybody smokes. Well, you should go smoke. Oh, er everybody, uh, er everybody's doing coke. Let's go all go do coke, right? Like no, it's like bro, like you gotta like you realize like no, you're there's some shit they just shouldn't do. Slowly got more. <laughs> It's not even about morals, it's about common sense, too. But, you know, he's replaced now with Ismael Barroso. Uh, a guy, you know, on paper, people might think this is an easy fight, but is there no easy fights at the championship level? Nah, he's not easy fight. He can crack. He aggressive. He can crack. He got experience. He got a ton of experience. He got way more experience than Puello. Like... I'm not. I'm not. Look, I'm not looking down on him or any of that stuff. You know, he's crafty and like I say, he he gonna come out here to try to win. You know, and I got nothing for respect for this man because he's taking this fight on. You know, you know, one he 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 gave me his opportunity first. You know, to to you know to try to win my world title. You know, mm -hmm. attempt to win my world title. And then, you know, because he was the mandatory, you know? Mm -hmm. and, it, and, it, and, it, and it goes on, and he, you know, he's stepping up for this fight. I got nothing but respect for this man because I wouldn't be in this position if it wasn't for him, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to disrespect the older man. And, you know, you know, I'm just excited to, to be able to fight him and 
get the opportunity to win a world title on May 13th. Yeah, how, how excited and how much does it mean to you to fight for a world title? You know, people, I see you smiling as I'm at, you know, people like to make their jokes uh, about you, but they would have to call you a world champion should you win May 13th. What does that mean? I mean, I already became world champion, but right. I mean, well, although, the, although that was like a, a regular, this is the full thing though. Last yeah, time yeah. it was a regular. Belt. Yeah, no, You're I right. know. This is full thing now, you know? Right. I mean, man, belt's a belt. World title, world title. But if it said world title, world title, I don't give a what anyone says, you know? But it, it still, it means a lot. You know, I'm coming up into this division and I'm going to be the big bad wolf of this division. The second I get in there, I'll, I'm the big bad wolf of the division, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm excited for this, you know? What? I'm, I'm just excited for it. Are you are you excited too, senior? That, that Rolando has a chance to, you know, last time he won the regular WBA, but it's it's the super, it's the full WBA title at 140. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Your dad don't got much to say. Yeah, he's focused on Roley Jr. World title, world title. But but he is a southpaw, um, and he does punch hard. Yeah, he punch hard. Yeah. He can. He had 22 knockouts. 24 what? 24 and 20 with 22 knockouts. Like that's a lot. That's a lot. Not, that's a. That's a big percentage. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, you know. And like I said, on top of that, he got experience, you know. He got experience. Have you? Uh, what do you feel like you've tightened up from last fight to this fight in this camp, and and what you've improved on as a fighter? Yes. I just. Just a different mindset. A different mindset. You know, I'm more. I'm more give two fucks less about what's outside of boxing than what you know inside the ring. You know, I care more about what's inside the ring. You know. And I think it's more from coming from more of a maturity, like me just growing up. You know. And on top of that, I mean, I have gotten a, a great deal of experience just from that. And even the layoff, you know. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm about to be off for about a year, you know? I I do feel like I've been... I've been productive with my time, you know? I've been a lot I've been a lot smarter with boxing, you know? I've, I've stayed in the gym, I stay focused, I stay training, you know? I stay trying to learn, like I spent this entire year just learning and learning and learning. What's, what's the perfect fine line for you right now where that, that fearlessness and that awkwardness and recklessness that you you know, came into the game with late at 17 and, and not wanting to take away from what makes that good, but still becoming disciplined along with it, more patient. Like, how do you walk that perfect line to, to, to both grow as a fighter, get more patient, but keep with you that kind of recklessness and fearlessness that got you here? I don't understand the question. How do I, how do I keep being uh? Well, it's like how do I keep being like uh, the original Roly who would like be over there like I'm gonna boom boom boom. Keep know? what keep what's got you here, but improve. You gotta be smarter. You gotta be smarter. You gotta be smarter, you know. And it's like I said, that's just all experience, you know. I started this fight, this, this boxing at 17. I turned pro. I signed with Floyd at 20. You know. I had 35 amateur fights. You know, it, it's like relatively to everyone else who I'm fighting. Not only have they been boxing longer than me, they've been pro longer than me than than I've ever boxed. You know, they've been on the national team for as long as I boxed. You know, shit like that. You know, and like these guys are like stars in their countries. You know, they they're 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 well known fighters. You know. In their countries and like you know the it's experience you know and i'm, I'm getting that experience is little by little i'm getting more and more experience you know mm -hmm. the, i don't know i just feel like i've grown up a lot um do you predict a knockout against this guy he comes these these guys from venezuela like valero or linares they they come to, they come to win they don't just come but to survive I, I don't know what it is about them venezuelan dudes but all of them can crack for some reason yeah. I don't know, like I said, like all of them can crack. Uh, like uh, Via, the right? The guy who fought Ellis, right? Yeah. Uh, Roy Main Via too, yeah. All, all of them Venezuelan dudes can crack. So, I mean, you got to be careful with them. They all can crack. They they, they tough. They, they come to fight and they, they, they can crack. So, 
you know. But the southpaw lines up with your two best punches, right? What? You're, the southpaw lines up with your two best punches, right? Wait, wait, wait. The southpaw? The, he, he's a southpaw, and those line up that, you know, that, they, those line up with your two best punches, right? Your left hook and your straight right hand. There's, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that that I, that I I see I can throw you know there's a lot of stuff but you know I'm not going in there thinking I'm gonna just throw this I'm gonna throw that you know yeah there's a lot of stuff I can throw you know that I got some idea what I'm gonna do you know so so with a guy who is a puncher who comes to fight do we see you be more more the boxer in this fight more I mean I mean you guys are gonna have to see you know May 13th y'all gonna have to tune in and see what what I what I got planned what I've been working on over the last uh, year you know. Let's just say it like this. I'm excited. It's in my hometown, Las Vegas. I haven't fought here in since February 22nd, 2020. And I, I'm i excited to be back in my hometown. Short on the show for my hometown. What was that? The Kid Boo Trunks knockout? That last no, fight that here? No, that was actually November 1st, 2019. Okay. That was against a Dominican dude. I, uh, yeah, that lasted one round. The sec the, the, that fight you're thinking about against the Russian. You know, I hit him with a right hand. Predicted knockout though, or? No prediction. Just watch.